this is the second video looking at the importance of syllable use and how it affects pronunciation. I want to look at some special examples that often learners have problems with. The first of these special examples is when we add the letters ED to regular past tense verbs. First, the past tense regular verbs have three different sounds for the ED. I'll compare the present tense with the past tense so you can hear clearly the sounds we add. Number one, the verb like is changed to light in the past tense. We add a consonant sound t. The number of syllables doesn't change the sound just gets longer. Okay, number two, the verb close is changed to closed in the past tense. Again, the number of syllables doesn't change, but the sound gets longer. Okay, number three, the verb start is changed to started in the past tense. Here we add a vowel sound, e, eh, and a consonant sound, d. So the syllables change from one to two. So to summarize all three examples with the spelling ed, but only one do we add a syllable. Okay. Now let's look at the second special examples that learners often have problems with when counting syllables and using the correct pronunciation. Now this is similar to the first example as we add consonants to third person verbs and to plural nouns. So let's look at third person verbs first. Again, I'll compare first person verbs with third person verbs in the present simple. And again, there are three different sounds. Okay, number one, like. It changes to likes. We add a consonant sound s and make the overall sound longer. We don't add a syllable. Number two, play. Here we change it to plays. We add a z sound and again it becomes longer but we don't add a syllable. Now number three, the verb wash. We change this to washes. Now here we do add a syllable. We add the syllable with a vowel e eh, and the consonant z. Okay, now let's look at plurals. Here we'll compare the sound of the singular, one, with the plural, more than one. Okay, number one, cat. It changes to cats. We add an s sound and the sound is longer. Number two, dog, changes to dogs. Here we add a z sound. Again, the sound is longer, but we do not add a syllable. Number three, horse. We change this to horses. Now here, we do add a syllable with the vowel e eh and the consonant z. So this is much the same as with third person verbs. So let's listen to those six examples again. Likes, plays, washes, and cats, dogs, and horses. Okay, now finally, I want to look at 
the third group of examples when the native speaker reduces the number of syllables in a word. This is described as disappearing syllables. So let's look at some examples. Number one, chocolate. Now many people read the word as chocolate with three syllables but native speakers reduce it to two chocolate number two vegetable again people often count four syllables but native speakers say only three vegetable with number three learners usually say comfortable but native speakers reduce it from four to three and k and say comfortable and number four learners say interesting but native speakers reduce this from four to three again and say interesting with number five learners say secretary native speakers reduce it from four to three and say secretary and finally number six learners say library native speakers reduce this from three to three to two and say library okay so I hope these four special examples have helped with the importance of counting syllables correctly for good pronunciation.